For example, speed and urgency are necessary to overcome cowardice. And what do I mean by that speed? I don't mean the drug or anything like that in relation to speed or anything, but I mean the fact and the, mo and the, the process of urgency, being urgent with your actions. Because there's something that urgency actually counteracts in the moment, which is rumination, ruminating, pondering, foreboding within our minds and our thoughts about what the future may hold for us or what may happen because we don't know what's going to happen because we're, si we're facing a situation that is unknown to us. And this is the problem. When we don't have urgency, when we don't have speed in our actions, we end up stagnating. We end up being at zero miles per hour. We end up, and you know, and when the, the whole rhythm of life within you doesn't start functioning properly and it doesn't create momentum, we start to stagnate. And you see this. When people don't have urgency, when people are stuck in their heads alternatively by not being urgent with their actions, we end up in a situation where we start pondering about things. We start, you know, thinking about what could happen, what might happen, what might not happen, expectations, would this person accept me, Do they? would they find me interesting, what, what bar or level of, you know, uh, perfectionism do I need to fulfill to achieve some sort of acceptance, all of this rubbish that we start thinking about within our heads. And this is the complete opposite of urgency, and speed, and having action in our daily lives with whatever we want to do. And the problem with this is that when we're in one of these situations, of course we end up stagnating, and then we start brooding. But interestingly enough, when this starts happening, we then start to see anxiety pop up. We start to maybe maybe even see depression pop up. And I'm not saying that depression is because we ruminate too much, but I would say that the person who stagnates more in the desires of wanting to act and not acting is more likely to, de to be depressed than the person who acts with speed and urgency in the things that they want to achieve. And this is the difference. Because depression is a depressing of everything pushing everything down or pushing everything, let's say, up into a isolated space. You could say that is what depression is. It's pushing your, you could say, your thumos, your vitality into a certain place where it cannot be expressed. And what is it that you're doing when you're ruminating and you are fulfilling yourself, filling yourself with anxiety and ruminating thoughts? specifically thoughts in the mind that don't escape the mind and don't interact with the body because there's not that that symbiosis there's not that clear transparent communication between the body and the mind but when everything is stuck in the mind we end up having these you could say outcomes of anxiety of depression in a sense or anything along these lines which limit us and keep us um, not developing our potential fundamentally. And this is what you see, and this is what I think is fundamental. You need urgency in your actions. You need to stop ruminating on what could be possible and what isn't possible. And I think this is the best way to cut out any of this thing of cowardice. Because cowardice is when we are stuck in our heads too much, and we are thinking too much, and we, um, we fall back on what we want or what we desire to have because we think that we're not going to be accepted or we think that we're not good enough or or that our ambitions our will our drive is faulty in a sense because we stay in our minds too much and we think about the things that we never actually find out could have happened and that's when you get cowardice so cowardice is a really fundamentally wanting to be comfortable. And of course it's more comfortable to not face the unknown. If you don't face the unknown, you are going to be more comfortable because you're going to be in a facility and in a space of your own which you are most understood in. You're not going to be in a place where you're going to have any unexpected possibilities happening. But if you don't have the unexpected possibilities, or if you don't face a situation that is unexpected, then you cannot 
bridge the gap between what you are now and the potential in which you could be in the future. And that's what it is all about. Potency, potent, potential. You need to forward yourself to fulfill that potency within you. And that's what potential is. If you enjoyed this video and you feel like it resonated with you on a level of magnitude and you feel like procrastination is also something that you are dealing with and you're always following and falling down a convenient path that is always easier and never actually good for you and you want to break the cycles of procrastination that you're constantly in and you want to stop giving yourself away to these easy simple pleasures that don't fulfill you and you want to work on developing your own decentralized freedom when it comes to building good habits for yourself then sign up for a free consultation call down below with me and we can talk about the methods and the techniques that you will need to know so that you can develop those aspects of yourself to reach a greater, higher potential. So with that said, make sure to click on the link in the description below and I look forward to talking to you very soon.